Welcome everyone. Today we are going to implement a program on traffic signal using Java applet program. So we are going to import Java applet and Java AWT packages in this program. This main class is declared as public and it has a class name signals. Signals is your main class name which extends applet class which is present in this java.applet package and it implements item listener and you are going to declare these three variables so this three belongs to three different categories i refer it as a variable the first one is msg a variable name msg which is of type string fine and it is empty string and you are going to declare checkboxes and you are going to declare checkboxes checkboxes are used to check whether which item the user has selected fine well uh, showing the output i'll show you how the checkboxes are work fine in this checkbox you are going to create three checkbox one is stop ready and go in this checkbox you are going to create three different types of checkboxes with different variable names one is stop ready and third one is go and all these three checkboxes belonging to only one group called as checkbox group fine you are grouping all these three checkboxes to only one group that is nothing but cdg you can create two different groups or five different groups and you can name each group with different uh, checkboxes fine so in this example we are creating only one checkbox group and each check this checkbox group has three different checkboxes because whenever you click on stop ready and go will automatically it will it will not be selected we have only one item will be selected whenever you are going to use checkbox group fine we are going to assign values to the we are going to assign values to the or initialize values to the particular variable is initialization so we are going to create an object we are going to create an object for checkbox group we are going to create an object for checkbox group using this line that is nothing but checkbox group space cbg is equals to new checkbox group fine after creating the object for checkbox group we are going to assign what are the checkboxes present in the checkbox fine group we are going to assign what are the different checkboxes present in the checkbox group fine we have three checkbox to be present in the checkbox group fine that is nothing but stop ready and go that has been assigned see new checkbox in the previous line it was checkbox group in this line and this three lines we are going to create only checkboxes not the group which belongs to this checkbox group right for the first one we let us start stop is equals to means for stop you are going to create a checkbox which has a label name stop and it belongs to cbg checkbox group fine and it is initially declared false fine similarly ready we are going to create a checkbox and it has a label name ready and it belongs to checkbox group cbg and initially it is false nothing is true initially third one similarly we are going to create go is equals to new checkbox go is the label name for that particular checkbox and it belongs to cbg group checkbox group and and it is given as false i'll tell you why this is given or made as false right now we are going to add all this check boxes to your applet window fine we are going to add stop ready and go check box to your applet window after adding we are going to call the function of item listener fine item check box dot that is nothing but stop dot add item listener you are going to call the add item listener and you are going to give the parameter this function you are going to use this function because whenever some item or event is been 
involved in this particular checkbox this stop function will be invoked that is why we are going to use this function similarly we are going to add item listener for this three stop ready and go checkboxes this is initialization of your applet program fine after initializing you are going to for paint but before going for paint we'll talk about repaint this is this is a small function item state changed the name itself indicate the name itself indicate that whenever there is a change of any instances for example if you are uh, if you have a red color if you want to change it to blue color your complete applet window or part of your applet window will be changed so whenever there is a change in the instance of your applet window then automatically your repaint will be called such that whatever the changes it has been made from previous version to the present version it will automatically change right your third function is paint function which utilizes a class called graphic and we are going to create an object of the type graphic g fine so in this function we are going to initialize value to the message initially message was initially message was empty string right initially message was empty string now what we are going to do we are going to assign value to that empty string message that is nothing but how we are going to assign the values using checkbox group dot that is cbg object name of checkbox group for our program dot get selected checkboxes dot get label this is nothing but whenever you are selecting the particular checkbox that label will value will be stored in this msg fine so let us see what are the different label values we have for checkboxes this is stop ready and go these are the three labels but whenever you click on stop stop label will be stored in message fine after storing in message the next step is you are going to draw three vowels you are going to draw three vowels to display the signal lights fine using the graphic object g fine using the graphic object g dot draw oval in this particular location of your applet window and again you are going to draw oval in this particular location of your applet window in this draw oval three ovals are being drawn so three ovals are being drawn to write something on your applet window fine so once again so after this the first if else condition are being used to glow the lights so if message dot equals stop if message dot equals stop this is the condition what is the value of message initially it is null but whenever you are clicking on check boxes the check box value label will be stored what is the check box label stop if your label is stop is stored in msg msg is stop stop dot equals stop means it will tell that you are going to set color as red because stop color is always red and you are going to fill the oval what which over you are going to fill you are going to fill the first oval fine you can see the same uh, location of draw oval you are going to fill that particular draw oval fine with your red color fine if the message is not stop it is ready if you are clicking on ready what you are going to do else if condition you are going to use message is nothing but now ready ready dot equals to ready means set g dot set color you are going to set color after setting the color you are going to this location you are going to this location and you are going to fill the oval with yellow color so at last there is only if condition there is no if else condition if this both are not the checkbox cases then you are going for the third case third case is nothing but your go so whenever you select go the third case it will automatically a default case it will come here it will set color green and in this particular location you can check 
in this third oval it will fill the color with green so this is all about your program all right so i'll execute the program you can see the program how it is being executed fine so java c signal signals is the class name fine dot java java c is used to compile the java program and signals is the class name signals is the class name of your applet program dot java fine once you compile you your compiler will generate a class file for your java file once you are compiled your compiler will generate a class file for your java program will wait for your class file right. yes we don't have any errors we got compiled and class file is generated now what you are going to do you are going to use something called as applet viewer you can view in the browser can use applet viewer to view in applet window applet viewer space signals dot java we are going to use signals dot java file to signals dot java file and now if i execute your applet window will come yes it is executed i'll share the particular screen now you share yes. are you able to see this window now so this is your applet window initially everything is set to false initially everything is set to false so nothing is been appeared so whenever you click on stop this all three windows three check boxes belong to one check box group whenever you click on particular check box your applet will be initialized and your applet paint function will run and stop means red color stop means red color will be filled with your oval fine if you are clicking on ready means automatically your paint function will be called once again and you are going to repaint it your applet window we'll see this yes it is repainted with your applet window this red color is gone and you will get a new yellow color fine this is repainting program fine you are going to erase completely whatever the previous window was there you are going to repaint it fine third one is go if you click on go you will get a green color everything will go so this is all about your applet program for signal traffic signal management so this is how we are going to do it fine, fine.